Welcome to Sea Scout. My name is Monty and I'm a trend scout. I'm reporting live from the artist area called 798 in Beijing. Beijing is getting more involved in artists worldwide. So this artist area is very important for contemporary art. Now we'll have a look around and do some interviews with gallerists and artists here on the area. Welcome to Beijing and welcome to the uh, Dashan's Art District. This uh, space uh, uh, originally, originally is a factory uh, called 798 Factory. Uh, but in 2002, uh, some artists came to here and rebuilt them as uh, galleries. This, gallery, uh, this space is the biggest and the highest space in this art district. It's about 1,300 square meters. Uh, except holding the art exhibition, this uh, space also um, holds high-level commercial activities, for example, fashion show, dinner party, and so on. And the slogans on the wall is also uh, also the witness of the past of China. This gallery is called the Xindong Chen Gallery. Uh, it, uh, the, the owner of this gallery, his name is Xindong Chen. He's a very famous uh, creator. Uh, what you can see in this gallery is the Huang Yan Soul Exhibition. Uh, his art, uh, his artwork is to do the paintings on the uh, people's body. The man on the wall, his uh, artist to do the performance art performance art. And uh, the, the pen, do you see the pander? The pander is, is his sign. Uh, whatever he do, what, wherever he go, he will take the pander on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. He always do the performance. Uh, it's about uh, for uh, government activities. For example, when Beijing went to, uh, to hold the 2008 Olympic Games, and he will take his pander to do the performance to congratulate, congratulate uh, of the government. My name is Jennifer Lin and I'm Assistant Director of Galleria Continua. And um, so, okay, what about this exhibition? This exhibition is called A Continuous Dialogue. That's the name. And basically, in the press release, I wrote um, the mandate of this exhibition, just like the mandate of our gallery, is to promote cultural exchange. Um, we like to bring art from um, other places other than China into China to show Chinese art, um, people who are interested in art and art collectors, what's out there. Because I find Chinese art is very introspective and it tends to look into itself. So we're trying to broaden that a little bit. Um, this particular exhibition, there isn't a coherent, a real coherent theme. We, it's a very, in my opinion, it's a very masculine show. There's only two women in the show. Um, there are eight artists all together. We have like Ai Weiwei, Gu Dexing, um, Zheng Guogu, Cao Fei, all these very, very prominent artists on the scene right now. Um, we, it was a pleasure to work with them because they're all very, very different artists. You know, we have everything from this sort of Apple installation to paintings to photography and there's a lot of video. Um, I find that this exhibition is very sort of very contemporary in the sense that we're exploring different mediums. We use, you know, bulldozers, we have video, we use um, sound integrated LCD systems, like it's all very, very contemporary. Um, and I think it's, it's important for our gallery because I think it's really important for foreigners when they come into Beijing to see how um, sort of diverse Chinese art is. How it's not a sort, it's not always a, uh, you know, looking back, a revisionist kind of art where you look back into dynastic art and you're always looking at Han Dynasty vases. In fact, it's actually like this now. This is the reality of Chinese art. And um, we, the way we do things here, we just had our opening um, five days ago. So we're, you know, pretty chill right now. And uh, we're planning to move this exhibition, these artists, to Italy in December. Because we have uh, the, the, the original gallery, original um, Galleria Continua is in Italy. 
and uh, we're going in December, and that's when we have our new another show, and we don't know what that is yet. Or actually, we do, but I can't tell you. <laughs> Her name is Tao Fei, and she's also uh, responsible for those photographs there. And right now, she, I would say, in the contemporary Chinese art scene, she's one of the hardest young artists. She's very young, she's late or mid 20s. And basically, these videos, in my opinion, I asked her, but I'm not going to tell you what she thinks because that's irrelevant. <laughs> um, I think they're basically showing the pervasiveness of hip hop just like the pervasiveness of Asian people around the world. Because she goes to New York, she goes to Japan, and she goes to Guangzhou, and she wants to document sort of um, contemporary culture and sort of um, hip hop culture and how it sort of dominate the world. Um, she uses, you know, elements of humor, of dance, of music. She combines it to to for a full effect that's interesting for the audience. Um, she uses three um, different DVDs to again to show how pervasive hip hop culture is and um, yes but she's one of the most popular artists right now. Hello, welcome to Beijing. Welcome to the Beijing Art Museum. Thank you.